Oh yeah, before we get into the video, I just want to bring up that we still have a giveaway going up on our Super Important Reviews channel for the uh, NECA Alien United States Colonial Marines accessory set, which ends on the 23rd. So definitely follow the link in the description below if you guys want to be a part of that giveaway. You just got to sign up for Jammer, join the Alien Club. That's it. Simple That's as it. that. Simple. Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we're going to be unboxing some Rampage figures uh, with these big city brawl editions of each of the characters. Uh, found these at Walmart. They are Walmart exclusive, so if you guys want these, you're definitely going to have to go check that out. Definitely don't try to eBay these things. God, no. <laughs> I imagine they're going to probably spike up here in just a bit. Uh, but like, just like with the con stuff, I imagine a bunch of these are going to show up sometime or other. It's Walmart. There's a lot of Walmart, so there'll be a lot of them. Trust me. Yeah. So if you guys don't see these early, just just wait. Yeah, because like our local Walmart had all the King Kongs in clearance for like ten bucks. Yeah, you could have got literally all of them, <laughs> all the entire set. We they had them sitting forever. So just wait. It's worth it. And I uh, want to point out, I did see the Mega George. I uh, didn't buy it, though, because I didn't think it looked good. So I don't really want to waste my money on it. Granted, I like me some views, but <laughs> not that much. Not going to sell myself out. when, Especially what we got here is what I feel like is the most ideal versions of the figures to pick up anyways. Maybe just a small pack or, you know, one or two of them. Yeah, like the small packs, maybe. But, like, I like my figures to be at least, like, a little bigger. Like, a decent size. Like, we gotta take up some shelf space, you know? And this seems to do it perfectly. <laughs> but only if we leave them in these cases. They look so much better that way. Yeah, I really like the boxes. I think the boxes actually turned out pretty nice for each of these guys. And it's like, and the way they're set up, like, Lizzie's probably the most boring, but he also the biggest figure. So, I understand. Ralph's actually probably the one that strikes me the most. And he's probably my least favorite out of the three in terms of, at least as a character. Uh, and George has a helicopter for reasons. Um, and also the same great that we had with one of the con figures, which again, with Lander, I imagine some of the stuff is uh, tie-ins with their corpse line. Like I'm, I definitely believe that helicopters from something else and the people probably just different paint jobs. But other than that, I don't know. <laughs> They all look generic to me, so... Pretty generic. Uh, with the smaller sets, you can get the Rock figure. Uh, with the smaller set, George or Mega George also comes with one. Uh, but I don't feel like they're going to make the other two to go along with Mega George. Wait, wait. Is Mega George Rock in a scale with him? Or is, like, the Rock figure actually bigger? Or is it the same size as... The same size as these guys. It's just George is bigger. So, it, it definitely looks more in scale with the movie than, say, these figures here. Which definitely aren't in scale. Well, I guess kind of, because event they have to go to that size to get bigger. So then, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. At one point in time. Like, the nice thing about that truck over there is, like, it's in scale with him. The guy. The guy. So, at least, like, next to each other, it still looks cool. So, again, like, I feel like, to me, this is the best set to pick up for collecting purposes. Um, and probably going to be the most sought-after sets out of, the, out of the small ones in the big Mega George. So, definitely, if you guys are interested in picking these up and you're at Walmart and you see these, just grab them. They're like 15 bucks a piece. So, 45 bucks, you get quite a decent amount here already. But we're just going to get into the figures here, and I sadly didn't grab a knife. Ah, oh, here. I got something sharp you can use, Steve. All right, we're doing it. Because I'm probably going to be pitching these boxes anyways. No, the boxes are cool, Steve. We're not putting them back in. That's one crappy pizza cutter, Steve. I literally just moved it enough so the tape just kind of slid off. <laughs> need... Oh, God, there's more on top. We need a knife. All right, the knife is over by Leonardo over there. Ah, oh, we'll just use a sword. No, actually, Vegeta's holding a knife, which is kind of creepy. Oh, yeah, that's actually a little terrifying. All right, so we got our knife now. Do you like my sword, sword? Copyrights. I don't need Tobuscus coming after me. Oh, he will he will come after you, Steve. He will hunt me down. Ugh. Oh, they're zip tied in. God. We'll be right back after these not commercial messages. I feel like this is un for how cheap they are, this is unnecessarily secured very well to this package. How many of these toys get stolen for them to like 
secure him this much. They can reduce the price of this store by five dollars. Or it in increase the, the quality. Ugh, there we go. Helicopter. Jesus. What? Look, look at this guy's foot. Show this foot, Steve, over there, how badly he is. Look at that. Hold on. You see this? Why? Why, God, why? <laughs> like, even the freaky little barbed wire barricade is secured better than most of my figure arts. Figure arts, you need to learn from Walmart company. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm good here, although I knocked off all the uh, missiles. I hand me the other one. Oh, he's actually sweet. I'm, I'm excited about this one. It goes faster with this exacto knife. Hand me the box. Yeah. Alright, you start talking. I'll start struggling. Alright, so we got Lizzie out of the box. Uh, there's some assembly required. Uh, I just see one part that I'm not very happy about, but... What's that? You see that glue right there? That horrible oh. glue seam? <laughs> like, he's got glue, like, coming down the side of him. It kind of looks like battle damage, but I'm pretty sure somebody in the factory just, uh... Oh, yeah, like, look at that. It's all up here, too. Oh, I found out why he's super cheap. I like how they spent so much money on containing this thing inside of that package, but yeah. Nobody steals it. <laughs> but we can't keep that glue off of there. <sighs> cool. But this should just pop in, yeah? I think. There we go. Now we got some tail smacking action. Ready to go. It makes you feel better, Steve. This one has a little button on there. It. Oh, you push the button and kind of works. It seems to get stuck. There we go. That's kind of neat, though. Like, oh. in practice, I like it. It's just once you get, like, closer to the camera, crap starts to be noticeable. Although, it's like, that's a big old crest on the back of his neck, though, just uh, for all that. But... Doesn't seem like his feet are pulsable. I do like that these kind of shift. Like, the uh, gills or whatever they are on the side. Yeah, like they shift a little bit. They kind of move when you do the jaw gimmick, which is cool. I wish the tail maybe moved a little bit more. They could have removed a little bit of plastic there. So that's not that much of a tail gimmick. But just standing there, he's pretty sweet. And then moving on to George real quick. George. George. George of the jungle. Again, like that glue. Okay, so what the heck is supposed to be on his back? He has a hole, and there's something supposed to be connected to the belt, but it's missing. See what I mean? I don't know. He might have secured it in something. Wait, do those pistols come off? Okay, those pistols are removal. Alright, so, <laughs> I was like, I thought they, they looked attached in the box. God, you're noisy back there. I'm having real struggles here, man. It's got some cool Arnold glasses. That's about it, though, for that, dude. Getting back to, getting back to George. So, how does the mouth gimmick work, or is that just a... Th I'm assuming it's supposed to work one way. Right? Oh, there's a rubber band. Oh, that wasn't glue. That was a rubber band. Eh. <laughs> I'm special. You're such a Steve. I'm like, man, that is some shiny glue they got there. That I can't get off. Oh, okay, it's just articulated. Man, can I keep the rubber band back on there? It seemed like it actually did more with the rubber band. Because it kind of just went like back to being open. Dude, he's got the dirt look on it. But, oh, okay, so if you crank the arm... Punches things. Hold on. Eh. Eh. He's not shifting her. Eh. <laughs> but you can get it out like that. All right. So here's the uh, car. That's so weird. Tire. It's got a bite mark in it. It has tape that holds that part in there. It completely comes off without the tape. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So that was taped on. But that's just more battle damage. So there's no way that just... I guess it, it sort of stays. Not very well, though. Like, display-wise, it'll hold. 
the looks of it. That's kind of neat, though. I like the idea of it. Then, like, you got Ralph out of the box yet? Oh, he's been on my lap. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, he has the bite mark that goes on that part. So. I don't know how he works. Posable legs. Oh, God. <laughs> that looks wrong. There we go. They only go forward and back, though. There's no side to side for him. It's really thin. All right, so what's your gimmick, buddy? How does it work? Where is, I was going to say, where did the tail go? It was just kind of like tucked in between his legs. Uh, there's got to be a button, right? Uh, let me see. For the jaw chomping action, you push down. Like, no, no. His feet, like down. No, put his feet like on the... Here you go. Like this? Easier said than done. <laughs> He doesn't line up very well. I can see the neck moves a little bit. Yeah, I was like, it moves. I was just not getting the... Yeah, see. You move it down right there. That's, that's it. Nothing special about him, I guess. Don't break the $15 toy, Steve. Wait. That kind of goes up. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. So, not the most exciting thing ever. In terms of an actual gimmick, it's probably the worst one. Can we put him back in a box? Please? Yeah, it's like, he's much cooler in the box. kind of wish I could get... Okay, that kind of holds. Looks kind of cool, though. He's got these weird little muscle vein things on the undersection of his arm. Looks like somebody bit him. Steve, why are you zooming in on him? Because he's got, like, plastic marks, like, right on his crotch. <laughs> they neutered him. <laughs> <laughs> they did. The monsters. I kind of don't like that his back legs aren't posable, though, but his fronts are. It's weird. Yeah, that's like, that's an odd design choice. And he's got some giant dew claws on the front. Same on the back, too. He's got some spikes coming out of his tail, same with the top of his back. But he's just he's very light, very hollow. Kind of wish that gimmick did a little more. Like I said, it seems odd that, like, that's it. Especially when, like, he had, like, Lizzie has a button for his gimmick. And George, like, you just line it up and bam. I feel like George has the best gimmick for me. I feel, I, I kind of feel like you're right. Well, look at that. I can't <laughs> hear it. He does damn it. It doesn't really, po like, there's no articulation for that joint, though. That's just, that's it. He's, this is how he stands. He's buff. Deal with it. But... Uh, I can see the wolf being probably the most frustrating thing for me to use. Uh, it's supposed to fit in there. The thing is, <laughs> it's not quite lined up to his mouth. But even says so right here, chomps the bus. The whole purpose of it, Steve. Chomp All right, well, let's the bus. I'm going to try to chomp the bus. So... But how do you chop it? Like, you have to go up the bite, so it's like... You <laughs> get him that way. And then... Rawr! Okay, so... I feel like going down should bite, right? Yeah. So, in conclusion, he stays in the box no matter what. <laughs> Maybe. I give him talk, though, so... He's not too bad. I think I'll just buy a Lizzie. <laughs> take, yeah. <laughs> take her out of the box and then take and leave George in the box. Yeah, Lizzie's probably well, they 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 all kinda got their marks against them and some stuff that's cool. Like it's not a bad like detail wise, it's not that bad. The gimmick's kinda disappointing though. Yeah. I'll have to play with it a little more for the review, but I'm pretty sure this is all we got here. So yeah. Uh but I like this. Uh, for the people, we've got Mr. Generic number one. Generic number one. He's got a scar, though. Makes him a badass. He's got his little helicopter gear. He's got a little... He goes into something, too. Screw. Well, yeah, he goes to this guy. This guy's own little helicopter. Maybe. There's no way that thing opens up. I don't know how that just flies with just one rod, but okay. <laughs> so he goes in. Oh my god, the helicopter. Oh. oh. 
Fooled it's game time, boys. Oh, and he can grab it. Oh, it's oh, over. Oh, snaps, dog. It's got some, got a machine gun right there. And it spins. <laughs> and it spins. Does it spin? No. Oh, it's too much money. That is too much money. Uh, But this, hooked on the sides there. It'd be kind of nice if this shot missiles. Oh, no, never mind. That goes underneath. Oh, no, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? I was looking. I'm like, okay, I get it. The Gatling gun's there. So I'm missing a missile. Did we have a missile? Oh, that guy got thrown back there. I can't see in front of the camera. Oh, God, I'm missing a missile. All right, there we go. Got our missiles on the side. Got, well, technically, wouldn't that just be more rockets? Yeah. So you got rockets and... The missiles that totally stay on this thing super easy. Hey, I know how to fix that, Steve. That's probably how I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I don't care. But, yeah, so you got a little helicopter to fight George with for his punching action. So that's cool. Um, You think this is going to be in the movie? Helicopter? This helicopter in particular. I don't think so. I don't think so either. It's kind of cool, though. No, you see, like, the rock flying one around? Yeah, but not that one. I'm still going to put him in it, regardless if I get the figure. Well, so I'm going to get the rock figure. I always need more rock in my life. I don't quite get why I need barricade. Because <laughs> it will so stop him. It's totally right. It's going to keep him contained. So I think he's just kind of there just to get eaten by Lizzie, right? Yeah, open like it that. up. All right, let's try it. Rawr. Oh, look at that. Use the button, Steve. You know what, Steve? You should use the button for Ralph, too. What button? <laughs> exactly. He really needed a button. But I can't do this one as easy for talking. Because that button, like, stiff as all crap. So, yeah, I don't know about skit purposes for this guy, but he, he seems like a wiener. Ralph seems like a winner anyways. You can bite on that horn pretty easy, though. So that's cool. All right, so out of all of these, what's your favorite? Really? Mine's Pistol Guy. I like the bus, Steve, with the melted tire. I do kind of like the bus, though. It's like it's actually like not that bad of a display. It's even like hard plastic, just like they are. So that's actually pretty cool. Oh, I like Lizzie. She's definitely the figure that goes out of the package. <laughs> yeah, I feel like like display wise, it's probably the coolest looking one. But, I actually, do, I don't really mind Ralph, because he kind of looked weird in the movie for me anyways, from what I've seen. So him being, like, super lean, spiky wolf isn't going to look that bad. George is probably, like, the most boring looking of the three. He's got a cool gimmick. Yeah, he's got, like, a little pudgy belly. I like that his jaw's articulated, so he's already beaten up pretty much any of the clown figures. <laughs> That's been fighting words, Steve. Well, Lizzie, definitely. <laughs> Even with the paint slots and everything, like, 15 bucks, what am I really expecting out of this? Like, it's already, like, fairly large-looking figure. It'll, it'll look good. Uh, but we'll know more for the actual review. So look for that up on Super Important Views uh, whenever we get around to publishing that one. Got any final words, Ernest? Uh, I actually like them a lot more than I thought I would. You know, because, like, just from the Kong experience, like you said. Look, like, the Kongs weren't bad. Like, for the price point, I get it. Uh, but, like, variety was where that was kind of lacking. Like, you had the small sets of big Kong, that was it. Well, this one, you got, like, pretty much three versions of, ver versions of George you can get. And two versions of the other guys. So, there's options. Which is really cool, especially for kids. Well, for collectors, like, again, this is pretty much, like, the set you're going to want. Yeah. And for like what, 45 bucks for the set, like it's not that bad. Like Lizzie's definitely the standout of the three. Yeah, for sure. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below and help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come arrange today. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. bye. bye.